Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Inform Herving Lozano. So as you can see, he is 5 foot 9, high low work rates, right footed with 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot. He can play in right mid and left mid as well as his natural left wing position. So that should make him pretty good for squad building as well. Looking at his stats, he's got 94 pace with the 93 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. He's got 80 shooting with 86 positioning, 81 finishing and 80 shot power. He's got 76 passing with 78 vision and 78 short passing. And he's got 85 dribbling, the standout point of this card with 92 agility, 85 balance, 84 reactions and 86 dribbling. He's also got 68 heading accuracy as well as 71 jumping and 81 stamina so those are the key points in this card the key stats in this card hopefully that makes him good let's get into the gameplay and i will give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end so into the first clip here we do hit the ball out in defense we're running through we play the ball to lozano lozano plays it over the top to papan papan threw on goal he takes the touch and he hammers it over the keeper for the first assist of the video for lozano here we go, some nice dribbling again there. We play this ball through to Papan. Papan is running through. He plays the ball into Lozano. One touch, weak foot shot, past the keeper there. Great shot, great finish, great goal. Lozano on the ball here, plays it through to Papan again. First time shot there across the keeper. Before coming down again here, the keeper with the, with the pass to the defender. The defender makes the mistake. Lozano comes onto the, in, onto the inside and finesses it around the keeper there. Brilliant shot before coming down again here with Lozano we were sprinting down the field the defense can't catch us we played this ball over to Papan and a fantastic finish there with the scorpion kick into the next clip here we played the ball through to Lozano first time tip shot over the keeper there fantastic finish to put us on level pegging here we get the ball again Lozano running through and goal some nice uh, play there and a great tip shot on the weak foot over the keeper into the back of the net Lozano on the ball here, we rolled it across there for a nice easy tap in before coming down again here on the corner, probably the easiest assist of Lozano's career, playing it to Tonali who hooks it into the back of the net there with a fantastic finish. Getting onto the ball here, we play it down to Lozano again, Lozano is bearing through on goal, we get past the defender and we roll it across the goal for Papan who finishes again with a plum. We win the ball back in our box here. We get the ball with Tonali, we play it down to Politano, Politano to Lozano, Lozano to Papan. Papan is running through on goal and once again, outside foot shot, finishes with a plum. Getting the ball here with Papan again, Papan through to Lucas. Lucas one touch, rolls it across to Lozano who has a tap in there. Great play and a great finish. We get this ball here, we play through to Lozano. One touch again on the first time strike. One shot across the goalkeeper yet again, great finish. Lozano with some good dribbling there to play Papan through on goal. We go for the volley, or half volley rather should I say, and we put it past the keeper into the back of the net. Lucas in the ball here, we get the ball again with Mora, sorry. We play it over to Lozano, one touch, keeps the ball from the defender and finishes it into the near post there. Great show of aggression, great show of passion and a great goal all round. Good ball again there, Lozano on the volley, hitting it past the keeper there. Fantastic finish. Because it doesn't end there though, we come back down again here with Lozano on the finish shot, hitting the back of the net after crashing it off the post. Great shot there and a fantastic goal. Lozano again here, we go across the keeper there on the weak foot this time and he finishes that absolutely beautifully into the top corner before getting the ball again here with Lozano, rolling the cross to uh, Politano who taps it in to the back of the net. So as you can see, we end this review with 11 games played. 10 goals and 9 assists. That is 19 goal contributions in 11 games. That is a fantastic return from this Lozano card, which pretty much highlights how absolutely incredible and how fantastically phenomenal this card really is. So I'm just going to run through each attribute of the card and give you pretty much my overall thoughts on it, as well as my overall thoughts on the card as a whole. So with pace, 94 pace, I mean, what else do you expect? It is Herving Lozano, he is going to feel rapid, he always feels rapid. That's the same case in every FIFA and this FIFA is no different. He is so quick, he is so powerful, 
when he gets on the ball and he's running through on goal, nobody can get near him, nobody can tackle him, and most importantly, nobody can catch him. Shooting, his shooting is really good as well. He finished some fantastic chances. I'm sure you saw the goals that he scored in the review. We didn't really abuse the outside foot shot either. He just scored a bunch of fantastic goals. Long range, short range, in the box, out the box. It doesn't matter. Left foot, right foot header. He will finish them all. His finishing is actually really good. And his finesse shots as well are surprisingly um, elegant, rather, let me put it that way, because he does put them into the back of the net, into the top corner, more often than not. Passing, another really good uh, attribute on this card. His passing is fantastic. When you play the ball, um, if his teammates make a run, you can play the ball with Lozano because I can promise you, he will find his teammates. His passing is really good. It's really an underrated part of this card. And honestly, it is. he's a really good, uh, good player. He's really creative as well. And he creates a lot of chances for his teammates. Uh, dribbling, this is also probably one of the other standout features of the card. Lozano is always a very good dribbler in the game. He is quite small, he's very agile, he's got um, good balance as well. So he moves in and out left to right really quickly. I mean, I'm sure you guys know dribbling in this game isn't the easiest. So to have a player that can dribble is fantastic. And honestly, Lozano can definitely dribble. He moves left, moves right, moves inside and outside really quickly, really well. Keeps the ball glued to his feet and the defenders will definitely struggle to dispossess him and struggle to tackle him. So his, his dribbling is fantastic. Physical, this part of the card surprised me if I'm being honest. I thought he was going to be weak, he was going to get pushed off the ball at every opportunity, he wouldn't be able to hold anyone off. But to my surprise, he was actually really good physically as well. He wasn't getting pushed into the floor, he wasn't getting knocked off the ball, he was able to hold his own and he was able to just power his way through the opposition. So his physical, surprisingly enough, is actually fantastic. All in all, what I think of this card, he is 40k I think at this point, 40 to 50k, so honestly that is really cheap, that is honestly next to nothing, his price is fantastic um, and he is fantastic for the price. Honestly, one of the biggest bargains in this game, he's 100% worth the price, he's so cheap, he's so fantastic, he's so good for that, for that value, 100% value for coins, he is phenomenal in game. So, all in all, would I give him the stamp of approval? 100%. Yes, I do. If you want him, if you have a Serie R team, if you can fit him in, go out, get him, throw him in your team. Honestly, he will take your team to the next level. He will take your gameplay to the next level. And he will just make this game overall a lot more enjoyable for you as well. So, for the last part, what would I rate this card? What uh, rating would I give him? And honestly, um, thinking about it, I would probably give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. That's a fantastic rating, especially at this point of the game. Great rating on this card because honestly, he in himself is a fantastic card. He warrants the rating, he's really good, and it is 100% deserved. So hopefully, I've been able to convince you to get this guy and put him in your team, because trust me, you won't regret it. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already, and until next time guys, peace.